This is the Galaxy Note 8, which I have owned for almost seven years now. The latest Samsung S24 series supports up to seven years of security and OS updates. Let's take a look at the Note 8 and see if it's worth having for seven years. Starting off, let's talk about the design. It's a solid build, feels great in the hand, and overall it's a very fresh and clean looking phone. However, it is a fingerprint magnet and it can get too slippery at times, so you definitely need a case. In addition, I don't really like the placement of the fingerprint scanner, it's sort of a reach. Lastly, let's talk about the curved display. It looks cool and futuristic, but it's not ideal. Without a case, sometimes you will accidentally press something or launch an application on the sides, and it's a little difficult putting on a screen protector. Speaking of the display, it's absolutely stunning. I've always loved Samsung displays, and they really bring out the colors in every photo. Deep blacks and vibrant brights. It's a super AMOLED panel made of Gorilla Glass 5, and it's absolutely gorgeous. In terms of the camera, for its time, back in 2017, it was one of the best cameras. If you compare it to any of the flagships now, it's okay. Samsung has great smartphone camera improvements and features since. For today's time, I would not recommend this is not the best camera, but it's still a pretty decent camera. So it has a 12 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel telephoto with 2x optical zoom and 10x digital zoom. Here are some 1x and 2x photos taken on the Note 8. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. When it comes to performance, I ran some Geekbench tests for CPU and GPU, and they're not the best for today's standards. I mean, it is a seven year old phone, but for its time and compared to the other Note 8s, it comes out to be an average performer. However, it's still a great performer for day to day use, like web browsing, social media, entertainment, watching videos, playing games, editing photos and videos. It can handle all that fairly well. Considering that it's a seven year old phone, the phone still feels fast and for the most part feels smooth in in terms of animations and transitions when switching between applications. Speaking of switching between applications, this phone is great for multitasking. Samsung Notes in general have always been known for their big displays which makes them great for multitasking. Having multiple applications opened at once is a breeze. You can have the Notes app open while watching YouTube, while messaging, and at the same time calculating your next move. It's packed with multitasking features. What makes this phone fun in terms of multitasking is its support for the S Pen. The S Pen is nice and I love the realistic clicking noise it makes. It really makes it feel like you're holding a real pen. It's handy if you need to take notes, but since it's small, it's kind of easy to lose it at times or accidentally break it, which has happened to me. But thankfully, I just bought a new replacement S Pen from eBay and it works great. The S Pen is a key feature for the Note, but it's not a need. But if you are buying the Note, you should have a reason to use the S Pen. It's super cool and great for note taking. Let's talk about the battery. It has a 33 milliamp hour battery. It's a decent battery starting out for the first one to two years. It was great. It would last me almost the whole day. But over time, the capacity started to reduce as I realized I would have to charge it more often. And today at its current state, the battery at most will last two hours before I need to charge it again. And that's when I'm like watching a video or listening to music, you know, reading an article, stuff like that it doesn't last too long. So it's not my daily driver right now. My daily driver right now is the iPhone 12 Pro but considering it's a seven year old phone if I replace the battery it would still be good for another few more years. I believe part of the reason the battery reduced in capacity by so much is the fact that I would use charging bricks that are way more powerful than what the phone can handle. Either I was lazy or forgot my phone charger at home. Since it's a USB type C and my laptop is also using a USB type C a lot of the time I would just use my laptop charger which is a 67 watts charger and definitely not made for a Note eight but it would enable fast charging and that's definitely not good for the battery in the long run let's talk about the pro for its time back in 2017 it's the most feature rich android phone you could buy at the time and it had great cameras but if you're comparing it to any of the latest options it's an average camera it's decent it will take photos but definitely not the best and we have a lot better camera systems available for cheaper nowadays i love the fact that it still has a micro sd card expansion and a headphone jack that's always a plus in addition it is ip68 certified which means it's water and dust resistant the infinity 
Super AMOLED display is excellent. And lastly, when it came out, it was a thousand bucks, but now you can buy this bad boy from Amazon for under 400 bucks. Let's talk about the cons. I wish they had security and OS updates for longer because as you can see, it's still a pretty decent phone. Like it still holds up. It can handle most tasks that I need to do. And having a more security and OS updates would allow me to use it for longer. The poorly placed fingerprint reader is not ideal. And One UI 1.0 with old Samsung software tweaks are not the best. And I personally don't like the Bixby button because I will accidentally press it and I don't even have that thing enabled. Like I don't want to use Bixby at all. Like I would rather use Google Assistant 11 out of 10 times. I also want to mention that it's a bit too big and heavy for some users because it's an enormous phone. And lastly, it doesn't have a great battery, but it's safe. It will not blow up on you. All in all, yes, the Note 8 is a great phone from design to camera and performance for its time. However, the battery isn't the best, which means you have to charge it a few more times. The main point I want to make is that Samsung phones will last seven plus years, and it makes great sense to have seven years of security and OS updates. Like I would love to get the latest Android 14 on this, it would make the phone feel brand new again. And if I replace the battery, I, it would probably last me a few more years. So I'm a big fan of longer support and OS updates, which Samsung is doing with their latest S24 lineups. And the note is evident of why it's a good idea. Phones are really good nowadays and we must extend their lifeline. Well, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell icon, and as always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.